October 24th, The Proper Perspective Thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14 The proper perspective of a servant of God must not simply be as near to the highest as he can get, but it must be the highest. Be careful that you vigorously maintain God's perspective, and remember that it must be done every day, little by little. Don't think on a finite level. No outside power can touch the proper perspective. The proper perspective, to maintain, is that we are here for only one purpose, to be captives marching in the procession of Christ's triumphs. We are not on display in God's showcase. We are here to exhibit only one thing, the captivity of our lives to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 How small all the other perspectives are. For example, the ones that say, I am standing all alone battling for Jesus, or I have to maintain the cause of Christ and hold down this fort for him. But Paul said, in essence, I am in the procession of a conqueror, and it doesn't matter what the difficulties are, for I am always led in triumph. Is this idea being worked out practically in us? Paul's secret joy was that God took him as a blatant rebel against Jesus Christ and made him a captive, and that became his purpose. It was Paul's joy to be a captive of the Lord, and he had no other interest in heaven or on earth. It is a shameful thing for a Christian to talk about getting the victory. We should belong so completely to the victor that it is always his victory, and that we are more than conquerors through him. Romans 8 verse 37 We are to God the sweet fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15 We are encompassed with the sweet aroma of Jesus, and wherever we go, we are a wonderful refreshment to God.